question three is asking us to find some information out about this triangle. Now, if I look at this triangle, what I've got here, I'm trying to find angle C. And if I look, I've got the opposite side to angle C, and I've got angle A with its opposite side. Now, this means I can pair the sides up, and that means I can use the sine rule. So the way I'm going to use the sine rule is I want to put the angle on top because that's what I'm trying to find. So sine of C divided by the side opposite equals sine of the angle A there divided by its opposite side. That means sine C is sine 43 degrees divided by 12 times 11. So then I can just go to my calculator using the relevant buttons, put this in, sine 43 divided by 12 times 11. Now I must make sure I'm in degrees mode before I do this. So that's 0 0.625. So to find the angle, I'm going to inverse sign that. And that will tell me using the calculator again, that C is 38.6943, so on degrees, and we were asked for it to one decimal place, so 38.7 degrees. Okay, so now we know C is 38.7. The second part of the question is we're being asked for the area of the triangle. Now to find the area of a triangle, I need two sides and the angle between them. So here I have two sides. Now the angle between them is B. So first of all, I need to work out what angle B is. And remember in a triangle, there are 180 degrees. So angle B is 180, take away 43, take away 38.7 degrees. And that tells me it's 98.3 degrees. So now we can use our formula for the area. And the area is a half. In this case, I've got sides A and C. So half AC sine B. So I'm going to put in the relevant information. So that's a half times A is 12 times 11 times sine of 98.3 degrees. So I'll just type that into my calculator. So I've got a half times 12 times 11 sine 98.3. So the area is 65.3 centimetres squared.